All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. We're going to do some more story time readings for the Karen Reed trial. All right, this is where we use the index cards to get the story. And we try to see who's part of the story it is. We have the villain. Ooh, maybe this could be the villain's story. Okay, the, <laughs> the math ain't mathin'. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's something significant about the third stop. Police are watching. Hmm. Shit. Okay. Some cards from on the ground, so I'm gonna pick those up. Have I start fight so I can leave? Rolled up. Habitual line stepper. Alright. This. And then we have. Man, I don't know if I released that video because I was. Um, Cut it up. It, you know, I kept getting distracted it th throughout that video, but the, well, there it was a video. I don't know which one it is, but this card comes out, and this is someone who gets caught up, who didn't really. Um, it's just kind of like a casualty. So somebody could get in trouble for getting caught up in this situation, who really isn't guilty in any of this. Yeah, they could have been helping the villain cover up. But it was like, well, well that's because, he, you know, this is my friend. This is my, you know, cousin? Cousin, maybe. They're the, the, these two are cousins, Bree Tanner and the villain. And there's something significant about the third stop, so... Somebody, somebody was like, okay, this is, I think we know whose story this is, guys. Don't you? <laughs> I think we know who these two are. The villain and Bree Tanner. The Bree Tanner is the one who helped um, him get out of this. Like, this person is keeping this person secret. The third stop, maybe this one comes in to, to, you know, get this one out of the, out of the way. This one could have started a fight and you know, this person is a habitual line stepper. They're always doing this kind of shit and they, you know, they have police, you know, uncles and daddies and grandpas and I don't know, like friends. This person's always you know thinking that um this person not like thinks that <clears throat> they can do this shit and no one's really gonna roll up well someone rolled up <laughs> so the math ain't math and probably about like where you know their whereabouts are or where hmm, about their whereabouts we have the tower at the bottom Yep. The villain, this is the one. And they have people who are in law enforcement who can plant evidence. The math ain't math. And there was a fight. It was a kid. Mm hmm. 
and they needed one person to really, um, you know, get this kid out of the way. It's like, I get this kid needed, you know, out of the way. The third stop, that's when this one comes in. What you can, what can we find, what can we learn about this person? This could be the villain's cousin. They did it because of their mother. Yep. It's like, look, we've given you so much. We've helped you out so much. You have all this because of us and we love you so, you know, we love you so much. All we're asking is that you help us. That's what the devil's telling this one. Remember this one is like, she, she's turned into a, a vampire to do some like pretty awful stuff, but she was just like, she, you know, she was kind of like an innocent in the situation. She really didn't want to be doing this stuff, but you know, <laughs> she got caught up and that's who this person is. This is the villain's cousin. That's why they needed, you know, the authorities to have some kind of official, like, like this is official of an official message. This is my, this, this is the alibi. I am his alibi. That's why I, the authorities can't really clean it up because the main person is thought to be gone. That's why everybody's, they can't get cars where cars were, but you know, straight, but everybody's confident that this person was not there. <sighs> They're hiding this and whatever's being spoken is the truth. Mm. Okay. So I think we know whose story this belongs to. Okay. All right. Did we not look at these? So the wise teacher, and then we have come correct. What is all this? They have no power. The trash took itself out. Hidden corners. Find a hobby. Future. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that has anything to do with this stuff. Okay, guys. Let's pull some more cards. Let's see what comes out. Rage and anger right there. <laughs> okay. Confused. Okay. Let's see what comes out. I really hate when the cards fly on the ground. Okay. We have forced to stay forced to stay silent. Let's see what fell on the ground. Oh. <laughs> we have spiritual court hey if um if the courts don't get this right you know we got spiritual court you know they're still a, you know they still have to answer to a, a higher power and this court does not adhere to man's law let me just say that okay the one who's forced to say, stay silent is this um, person who they feel like they're in limbo. This is the righteous sinner. The good mother. Bad witness. Processing. Hmm. This one. <clears throat> in need of a good cry. Plans went awry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Pick up, drop off. No trust. Then we have walking the dog. They don't want you doing better than them. The real deal guru. And April, I'm not really sure what that's about. 
<clears throat> then we have the death again at the bottom. Dante's Inferno, Limbo, forced to stay silent. Um, this was like the good mother, right? We did so much for you. Um, we need you to be, um, you know, <laughs> a bad witness, you know, give bad information. I picked up, I dropped off. There's, mm hmm This person's in need of a good cry because they're forced to stay silent. But this is spiritual court. Plans went awry. Processing. All this shit just isn't adding up. Remember the cards that came out before were... You know, one of them was the math. The math ain't math. And this isn't adding up. The devil is trying to... Keep... The authorities from seeing the, the whole truth and uh, that's why there's okay that's why oh my god okay look at this shit this is cr oh my god this is insane this is insane that was one of the <laughs> that was one of the cars that came out i wonder why that came out where is it Ah, whatever. Look at this. The devil wanted to keep the authorities from seeing the whole truth, right? They didn't want justice for John O'Keefe. Because justice for John O'Keefe would mean that the truth had to be spoken about what the devil was hiding, right? Now... They have some authority figures, like, these are higher-ups that are like, holy shit, this is bad. This is bad for us. Why is this bad? Because if it comes out that these police officers, these investigators, th these people who hold public office, um, public office, I'm sorry, are, I'm sorry, are, um, public servants, sorry, public servants, um, if it comes out that these people were trying to, to set up this woman, Karen Reed, then how many other investigations are tainted, right? And they have internal affairs looking into everything that's been playing out in the situation. Because they know, they're like, holy shit, you know, because this is bad. This is so bad for them. They're realizing that internal affairs has been watching them. And this is like, maybe there's, I don't know, when they realize this, everything came crashing down. They're like, holy shit, all our secrets are going to come out and judgment's about to be called on us. Because we did use um, our, our um, resources to plant this evidence and now they're in there they have to go back and investigate all the all the cases that were tr or look into all the cases that were tried because what the possibility of these officers and these investigators um doing corrupt illegal corrupt and you know corrupt shit of course it's Ill illegal but yeah so, mm, these people, this good mother, like, this is someone who tells, who tries to make the, the person that they're helping seem like, like, we really care about you, we, we love you, but they really don't, they, they want you to do good, just not better than them, or their kids, or, you know, something like that, this, there's no trust here. Something about April. Something happened in April. We got walking the dog. Walking the dog. This could be just like public humiliation. With the five of cups. What's what are? What's this? Plans went awry. Their secrets came out. They're all sad because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Their seek. The truth is out. The truth is out. They're sad because the truth is out. Bad witness. What can you tell us about the bad witness? 
Okay. They try to make this person seem like whatever they were saying was not really a big deal, you know? It's like, it's it's a little white lie. It's an innocent lie just to kind of confuse people because there were so many people. We just want to get this kid out of the, you know, out of the house so there's not all this, you know, craziness and, you know, you know, screw, you know, I don't know. They were just trying to convince this person that it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Just lie. Come on, we'll even, you know, give you a little extra money, you know, car or something. <laughs> you know, something like that. And this person is like, they're forced to stay silent. They're in, a, they're in need of a good cry. And what is the little white lie? I picked him up. I picked him up. He wasn't there. I picked him up. Let's see, maybe you can uh, tell me whose story that belongs to, huh? All right, guys, let's get some more. Just some extortion right there. All right, another story. I'll take all these. Let's see. Okay. Try again. story that wants to come out and who does it belong to whose story is going to come out next you have people pissed off I was not expecting you you have people pissed off you are a pawn false You can do all things through Christ except try me. <laughs> Fake happy. We got karmic aunt. We have a neighbor. We have toxic mama's boy. We have feeling dumb. Stolen property. Helping hand. Oh, dear Tay. <laughs> it all starts at home. Dare to say, dare to say no to bad dope. To bad dope. Okay. Karmic aunt. I think we have, um, whole like, group here. Okay, let's see. The whole group, we have a karmic aunt. We have the toxic mama's boy. So this could be uh, the auntie of the toxic mama's boy. These two could probably be feeling dumb. You have people pissed off. Dear Tay, <laughs> don't try to church it up. Don't you mean Joe Dirt? <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we got Joe Dirt over here having people, they have people pissed off. They're really, okay, it all starts at home. Who's the pawn? Maybe all these, all three of these people are feeling dumb. All starts at home. The conflicts uh, started at home. Joe Dirt could be the one who's um, offering a helping hand. You can do all all things through Christ except try me. Says Joe Dirt. Okay, these over here we got the neighbor and stolen property. Fake happy. I was not expecting you. Okay. It all starts at home feeling dumb. I was not expecting you. Okay, let me see. Um, over here. But 
I'm getting is that the, the conflict started at the home. It all starts at home. I was not expecting you. Maybe someone was there that John uh, O'Keefe was not expecting. It all starts at home. Yeah, again, remember, I'm trying to, we're trying to, um, he thought that he was going and trying to soothe over tensions between him and this family, right? Because there was conflicts in the past and it could have been, you know, conflicts with neighbors. You know, he could have been like pretending like everything was cool, but there was tension. He wasn't really happy with this, this, um, family. And I think this family knew it. This kid this toxic mama's boy could have been like just doing petty shit, stealing shit from their yard, stuff, just petty shit, you know, and they're like, okay, I don't want to really, you know, cause tension with my neighbors. So yeah, we're happy, but the, you know, obviously there was some tension with it all starts at home. Maybe that's where it started. You know, not so happy neighbors, okay? And this is something that starts off pretty small and then it continues and continues. Just pettiness, pettiness. I'm getting, like, pettiness, you know? It's like these kids were just doing petty shit or even the parents were doing petty shit thinking it's funny, but it's like this person's like, yo, I'm, I, you know, I'm really not fucking with it. Please just stay away from <laughs> my property line you know stay off of just stay away from me man but you know trying to avoid having these like worse tensions with his neighbors he was pretending like okay yeah no that's cool it's cool everything's fine you know and so when he was invited to this house party this after party um it was with the intention of like suit like soothing over the tensions with this group but there was someone there who he was not expecting okay this is someone who was saying that they, like it's like they have a solid alibi i was i wasn't even there i was long gone <clears throat> that's why he's you know this person's been able to elude um like suspicion i don't know because every yeah yeah no this person he was not expecting this devil here this devil is someone who's hot-headed they don't they just they don't know how to control themselves they're very ego driven very um prideful like when their ego gets hurt or when they you know this is someone yeah this this is not a healthy person this is a very and this could be the toxic mama's boy okay that's who he was not expecting he was not expecting this toxic mama's boy to be there they could have been telling everybody that you know that's who Okay. Who's feeling dumb? This is, I think this is Karen. The lover. I went home and I was laying down while he was being attacked. He had no ch like he had no chance. I don't know. Who's feeling dumb? She's feeling dumb because she feels like this was some kind of setup to to harm him. 
that this empress could have been the one who and this could have been her friend this could have been someone she she saw as a friend Cause she was wondering, like, she could have told this person, like, what, what if I did? What if I hit him? We were all drinking. What if, you know, she, you know, she was expecting her friend to, like, tell her, no, you're crazy. You're crazy. That, that's, that, that didn't happen, right? We're going to figure this out. That's what she had hoped that her friend was going to tell her. But her friend's like, yeah, no, it does look pretty bad. And so when they pull up, I'm getting, like, when that's the kind of energy that they're trying to, to put her in. So they want her to, they want to try and convince her that, hey, you did something. It's very, very likely that you could have done that because she's like, I drink a lot. I don't really remember. Like, what if I did, you know? And she, they're like, yeah, that's, that's a real possibility. And they're like creeping up to the house and she's looking out like, okay, where were we? Like, and she's like, I'm like very focused on, you know, the area like where she she could have where she was she dropped him off and uh like she sees him right she starts freaking the fuck out so yeah they have her trapped like yes we we got her we got her thinking that she did this because i don't know yeah they man this is this is sick shit man <clears throat> So this could be her, like, Karen feeling dumb, like, these fucking pieces of shit were, like, never my friends. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's look at, you are a pawn. Who's the pawn? Somebody that was, somebody who got left behind. Who's this? One of the people that uh, that was collaborating with these people to cover up and plant this evidence on Karen Reed, creating the illusion that it was her and not this kid. They had the resources. They had have the the connections to call judgment. Like this is people who used uh, weaponized the judicial system. Like, oh, if we don't like you, guess what? <laughs> You're, we're, we can make your life a living hell. We can plant evidence all day. Have people abandon you. We can even have people, you know, make you disappear. That's what these people are saying. This is what these people were doing. And now they're looking, being looked into. And I think what's pissing someone off is that the, it, because this one made that move, now they they have to go back <clears throat> and investigate and maybe even, you know, let a lot of, I don't know, what do they do? They retry them or they have to let people out, go free for, for, um, because the investigations against them could have been, you know, tainted i don't know <sighs> okay anything else let's see let's look at this karmic aunt so, okay well we haven't we haven't looked at these two let's look at the karmic aunt okay this person's worried <laughs> this person's worried oh the karmic aunt is the one who's like Ew. This karmic aunt was <laughs> saying, um, I'm going to give you a gift. This is something done in secret, though. Yeah, bribery. This is bribery. Yeah, bribery. For helping us get out of this situation so the karmic aunt was bribing another person who were they bribing they could have been bri bribing or <laughs> insinuating 
that they'll sleep that they would sleep with them it's like no just buy my wife something <laughs> I'm, I'm helping you out as a friend. That's it. That's it. Because of what happened in that home. Now, there was a lot of drinking. You know, these, these two women are friends. And that's that. So that's the karmic auntie. Let's look at the toxic mama's boy. And then we're going to look into why Joe Dirt has people pissed off. Let's look at the uh, toxic mama's boy. Mama's boy. Oh my goodness. The toxic mama's boy is bragging about how he got away with murder. They were able to get someone else locked up because of his family's connections. Yeah, we beat him up. Yeah, there was a fight. But we're the law around here. We hold the power. So we're going to, you know, whatever happens, it's, it's going to work out in our favor. That's what this person says. This is a kid who, whose mommy tries to fix everything for him. This is a toxic mama's boy. The empress is always cleaning up this little shit's mess. What's going to be the outcome for this toxic mama's boy? What's going to be the outcome for the toxic mama's boy? Arrogant little prick. This kid ain't, this kid ain't ever going to accomplish shit in his life, you know? This is someone who's lazy, someone who's codependent. They don't want to put in the work. Their mommy's always having to take care of them. And their mommy's going to have to say no more because you're such a burden. Always having to clean up your mess. After what you did, this mother's going to be bound to this devil. And it's this, this child. This child is going to be a parasite, a burden on his family and on society. Yeah, he's going to be a burden. People are going to walk away from him because... They're not going to be able to put up with his bullshit and all the... Yeah, look at this. All the shit that he does. You know, this always cleaning up this little shit's mess because he's an entitled little prick. Let's be real. You know, this kid. It's this toxic mama's boy. This kid don't know how to manage himself. He don't know how to balance anything in his life. His emotions, his finances... You know, he's always been given everything as a child, and that's why these are repeated mistakes. This is a, you know, a, a very, you know, this is a repeated message that comes out in the Karen Reed readings is this kid who's, you know, entitled and um, privileged and thinks that they can do whatever they want, and people around them are going to clean up their mess. Repeating these cycles, you know, this kid doesn't know how to manage himself. So, Joe Dirt, why do you have people pissed off? Is it because you're talking the truth about these people? Or what the hell? You're doing this online, speaking truth, and people are watching this, and it's pissing them off. They want This whole group wants to come after you, man. They do. They want to do some magic against you. I pulled out earlier that this there's a group that they're like, they're like cult-like. Yeah. <clears throat> there's this... Uh, Queen of Wands. This person's watching. There's a feminine energy that's watching. That's like, yeah, it was snowing. Yeah, it. They are lying. Yeah, they did plant evidence. That is the truth. Yeah, there's a there's this conspiracy to take me down. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's someone watching, saying, "Yes, I know." It's the truth, and that's why people are mad because some, you know someone is speaking the truth. Anything else for why Joe Dirt has people mad? For exposing um, infidelities? Yeah, they're getting caught up. They're like, oh yeah, the truth about um, infidelities. 
speaking the truth about this child the planting evidence okay So yeah, it's about speaking the truth. That's why Joe Dirt has people pissed right now. So, okay guys. All right, I think I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna leave it here, leave it there, leave it somewhere. Got a narcissistic boss. Hiding your pain, someone's hiding your pain who that is oh how the mighty have fallen <laughs> okay so I'll take this take this alright guys let's get one more short story and see whose story whose story wants to come out Pray. New alliances, last laugh, ineffective counsel. We have white, peace, serenity, angelic connections, clean, clean path, fresh start, healing, guidance, clarity, innocence, truth, willpower, tranquility. This is associated with the crown chakra. So, um, This ineffective, ineffective council card came out earlier. Why is that one coming out again? We have the King of Swords because uh, oh man. I think the last story time readings that I just did, they talked about this that like there was a gag order placed on the on the defense side well I'm, I'm yeah so they they gagged the defense so the defense couldn't really talk about what was really going on but the defense has new alliances because the the people that are aligning themselves with the defense side have been targeted before themselves and put in a in a situation where they weren't well represented and so they got, you know, the, you know, they got the shitty end of things because they weren't really able to speak on what was really going on. Yeah, like all these people working against them. Wow. The spirits calling out even the courts. The courts better watch it because that that's that's reckless now playing weaponizing um the judicial system for your own personal gain is very reckless to do because remember i think one of the f first cards that came out was this is spiritual court spiritual court is not governed by the rules and laws of men it's a whole different ball game here so this is a warning to these judicial um to the judicial system not to be not to be not to be going after innocent people yeah if you're doing shit for your own gain planting evidence whatever trying to save your own children from the sh devilish shit they do you know this shit is gonna come back Those who've been watching over and allowing these people to get off scot-free, th those days are done. Those days are over. I can promise you that. Wow. I'm getting that the, the defense is going to have the last laugh. She's going to be found innocent of this, of this death. It's going to go back. It's going to... Oh, my God. Um... The, this group is gonna get some kind of official um, news that they're they're gonna they're being investigated maybe 
They are not gonna like that. Holy shit, they're not gonna like that. They're like, no, why? attacks this attack on an officer this is attack this was an attack on a, a public servant and they're trying to hide the truth of what really happened but the truth is going to come out justice will be served so these <laughs> whoever's yeah whoever's you know prosecuting this better you better be careful if you know that Karen Reed is innocent and you continue to go after her things are not gonna go good for you and I'm not just talking about in this case I'm talking about this is gonna we're talking spiritual court it's not just gonna go wrong in the case but um or during trial but it's things are gonna start going wrong in their own life family friends work health finances everything gets affected that's the consequence those are the sentences given by the most high god in spiritual court so all right guys that's what i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed these readings don't forget to show me some love like share subscribe and i will see you guys next time